I'm Justin Hunt with the DX Day. Hold on. Up first, Matt Miller signs to da -da 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 -da, Warner Records. Vader reports that the deal is worth $10 million Damn. and will incorporate his imprint, remember, into the major label, meaning Miller will be able to release his own music as well as sign and develop new artists. Warner is the most independent thinking company I've met with, he said. It is a partnership, and now I can focus on building my label, remember, through music, and let them handle everything I don't like doing. Nothing will change in how I do things. Now, Warner's quietly built a solid hip-hop roster over the past year. They have Drake's OVO sound with Party Next Door and I Love Lakota. They signed Wu-Tang this year and will be releasing the group's next album, A Better Tomorrow, on December 2nd. Warner's PR's even been pushing singles by folk volume Sharon Benton. So what do I think about that? Um, yeah, Mac Miller been independent for a while. You know, he's been making a, a great, great choice in business. You know, MTV, I think, did a couple shows with him. He's been touring. Uh, he had the first number one independent album since uh, The Dog Pound, Dog Food, back in 95. Uh, his last album, you know, was critically acclaimed for when I heard it. It was a great, solid project. And so I think this is good for business, you know. I mean, Warner is kind of a, you know, independent type situation to where it's a 50-50 venture to where Mac still can do what he do and receive, you know, recoup his bread, but it gives him an even bigger platform. I respect that, you know what I mean? I think it's good. I always thought he would stay independent, but I knew a day would come where it's some shit when you're independent, you basically do everything yourself. You know what I mean? You have your own team, but sometimes you need that extra hand in the pot, you know what I mean, to help you do what you need to do to build your brain even higher. So I definitely think that's pretty dope. So, of course, I'm expecting, uh, you know, another project next year. You know, hopefully we get another uh, mixtape before the year is up because I think far as albums, you know, he, he dropped last year on my birthday. It's been like a year since he actually had an uh, album out. So I definitely think it's time for that. And I, I think he done develops his skills well where you no longer take him for a joke you definitely look at him as you know he can definitely rap you know and far as music goes it's my personal opinion I think he raps better than Wiz Khalifa you know at one point Wiz was on point with his first album but I think Wiz is on some weirdo type shit I don't know what's going on with him but Mac Miller you know salute to him definitely you got to give him props on that and I want to see where this going to go. You know, Drake label is over there, OVO Sound. Uh, I remember when, you know, I heard about that. And still to this day, it's like, I wonder what's taking, you know, Drake so long to get the label off the ground. Like, okay, who's going to be the first artist that you put out? You got Party Next Door. I love making. Party Next Door is pretty dope. You know I mean? Kind of a knockoff, week, uh, a knockoff of the weekend in a sense, you know. Um, shout out to uh, Bugatti. Um, Bugatti chick, you know, that's why I'm, shorty, she know who the fuck she is, you know what I mean, she kind of put me on to him, a couple joints, you know, I had the, the, the album in my phone for a minute, I really never checked it out, but he's definitely cool, uh, I love making, uh, I've been hearing bad things about him, some good things, I think he got like one record uh, Tuesday, and I haven't heard it, basically, i seen him on a Breakfast Club interview, and, and I didn't like the vibe of him, so I wasn't really into his music, but you know, salute to him and salute to Drake for the artist he signed. Still feel like Drake should sign Tory Lanez. Um, Drake should sign the actual, what's the other little homie name? The Asian cat from um, Toronto. Damn, I can't think of his name. I know y'all know who I'm talking about. I think he should sign. Tiger not doing nothing with her and seeing how she is. I think Honey Cocaine is from uh, Toronto, Canada somewhere. He should pick her up, you know what I mean? But definitely, I just want to see both of them get their um, labels off the ground. And I didn't even know Mac Miller had a, a, a label, which is pretty sick. So I want to see the type of artist that, you know, he, he likes and, you know, the type of music he's into. I, I really don't want him to have homeboys that he put on. I, I kind of think that that era is over with where you sign your friends instead of going out and finding cats with skills and the words of Joe Budden, you know. And, yeah, man, Warner's pretty dope, you know. Um... I feel that they definitely has an eye for talent. Um, I feel like 50 kind of should have went over by that way. You know, um, I forget what label T.I. signed the deal with. Um,
when he was waiting on this album to be released. I can't remember what it was. But definitely, man, you know, Mac Miller always been a cat that really was about his his grind from day one. I mean, the very first song I ever heard from him was, uh, damn, it was on that, um, what, Best Day Ever um, project. It, when they used to play MTV jams and videos like that. But the one that really took off was the Donald Trump record, and we all remember all the drama that came with that. And I didn't understand why Donald Trump felt like he wants a piece of that action. Like, I mean, in a way, it's, he's bigging you up, and that's great, but you want to, you know, try to blackball him or, or get a piece of the pie. I thought that shit was pretty corny, you know. Um, but his first album, Blue Slide Park, that was kind of on some experimental shit. I didn't know where he was coming from, you know. I don't think nobody took him serious. Um, I bought the album and seen the videos for it and thought it was like on some our future type shit and I was like wow very not going front I was disappointed in that shit because I was like what the fuck is this shit like all right you know what I mean he got some depth to it I haven't heard it in a long time I may have to go back and check it out and re-listen to it and then re-listen to uh the second joint but I still fuck with that Spaces project I feel like that should have been an album and not a mixtape for some reason that shit was just too dope I think that would have been a great way for his catalog as far as his albums. It should have been, you know, in my personal opinion, I still feel like that should have been a, a album. People still say, oh no, it, it's it's a mixtape. No, it's an album. From what I see and what I understand, if you have anything that's original material as far as production and you give it away for free, to me that's an album. You dig what I'm saying? Because either whatever logistics go around where you can't release certain albums like that, but that should have been an album or at least put on iTunes. I don't know if it's on iTunes, so don't sit here and say, oh, it's on iTunes. I have no idea. It, it was on a mixtape site, so, you know, if it is on iTunes, I definitely feel like it should have been there to get its money. And anything that's what original material as far as production should be on iTunes, at least get paid for it. You know what I mean? Of course, you're going to get shows from it. But at the end of the day, I can say congratulations to Mac Miller. You know, I definitely think he's dope. I was actually wondering, like, damn, where has this nigga been at? I mean, I heard a couple verses. He's been on other people's songs and shit. But it's like, I like Mac Miller. Like, you know what I mean? Um, other than Eminem, it's not really a, a lot of other white rappers that's pretty sick. I mean, Ritz is one. Um, who else? It's somebody else that I, I was, like, sick as shit. I can't think. But Mac Miller, for sure. Ritz is one. People go back and forth about Logic. He's mixed, but he look white. But he's he's mixed, y'all. So, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, definitely. It, I, do I ever think he can fill Eminem's shoes? Definitely not. I even heard in an interview when they was talking about Logic album. Somebody actually sat there and said, like, oh, he's the next Eminem. I couldn't believe that they said that. But it's teenagers. I mean, what you gonna do? Like, I'm quite sure if y'all watched that interview. I think it's on, uh, what was it? Visionary. I think it's on Visionary uh, Music Group um, channel. But... Other than that, man, shout out to Mac Miller. You dig? I think that's pretty dope. Um, are y'all even still a fan of Mac Miller? And what's some of his earlier mixtapes that's like pretty sick? Because I always heard that his best one was Best Day Ever. You know, um, other than that, I can't say that I know too many projects that he put out. I think he put out one for his fans or something called I Love You or something like that. Um, that was a couple years back. Faces, of course. Macadelic, that's the one right there. I was just forgetting about that. That motherfucking project right there, that's when I knew Mac Miller was a fucking problem. Like, that shocked everybody. When that shit dropped, that shocked everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because it kind of came out of nowhere, and then you heard it, and it's like, wow, that song with Lil Wayne was crazy. Like, how the fuck did he get a verse from Lil Wayne? Like, that song was banana. So that's another one. I do need to get that on my um, phone. I'm going to download that in a minute and put that on my phone as well because I got faces on there. But Macadelic was just that one, you know what I mean? And his new album, or last album, sophomore album, that Euphoria song, is that's just my fucking joint. You know what I mean? But shout out to Mac Miller, man. You know, I just had to bring y'all my opinion, what I think about it. Do y'all feel he should have stayed independent, though? You know, Rostrum Records. That's what I want to know. How does that work? Because I know he was signed to Rostrum. And strictly independent. I think Rasham got a new artist by Boaz, who album is out right now. iTunes, uh, Intuition is dope. I heard it. Y'all definitely need to check out for that. That review is coming. 
And yeah, man, just let me know what y'all think about this whole situation with Mac Miller. Um, basically, he's not independent anymore. He's signed. So, yeah, how do y'all feel about that? Should he stay independent or is having a major deal worth it these days? Other than that, shout out to the new subscribers. I see y'all on Twitter. If you hit me up, Instagram. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the CD opening. I know I bought a shitload of CDs, you know what I mean? It kind of sucked the CDs that I bought was pre-owned, but I think that's still cool because it's like when you go to GameStop, everybody doesn't buy, you know, new games. You buy pre-owned shit. People buy pre-owned systems. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it still was cool. And um, shout out to Johnny because he asked me on the, uh, the CD opening for um, Cinecrack, J.R. Ryder was something wrong with me it no i was cool bro it just i was already tired uh had a long day um it was a lot of goddamn you know reviews that i had already did and you know the iphone went if for some reason 16 gigabyte it the storage if you got hella apps or hella pictures when you're trying to shoot a video sometime it cut off and that kind of sucked because every other video i shot on my shit like three to four minutes but when it cut to that one it only let me do it you know that a couple of 16 seconds so at the end of the day it is what it is so now nah, i wasn't feeling no type of way i was cool i was just kind of pissed off that i couldn't just get in depth with it but you know it's still a dope um cd or whatever but what i will do since i couldn't fully disclose the cd opening i'll shoot pictures of it and do like a little flip gram and throw it on my ig so if you follow me on ig if you want to see that uh cd open or whatever Follow me, you know, um, Gemini underscore God underscore. Um, and yeah, other than that, man, just hit me up. I'm loving the um, feedback I'm getting, more support. I think I got one dislike on some video. Whoever did that, you a dickhead for that because that's crazy, You're just a hater. You know what I mean? But I love all my supporters. Uh, shout out to y'all. Um, yeah, man, and shout out to... Uh, um, I forget I forget her name, but Breeze, shout out to you because, you know what I mean, you show love. and Yeah, man, keep it up, man. I'm out. One.